So you just have to believe that someday that's where I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be on this stage. I'm gonna do 20k capacity. I'm gonna do 40k capacity. You just have to see all that, and that's faith. And then you go forward to act on it. Guys, you know, in a year where female artists like Ira Starr and Tyler have dominated with their Afrobeats albums, it's refreshing to see Victorno remind us of what it means to be a true Afrobeats artist. His latest album, Stubborn, really encapsulates the essence of the genre, blending his cultural roots with heavy international influences. If you've ever struggled to explain what Afrobeats is, this album does it beautifully. Since bursting onto the scene, I've had my reservations about Victoni, often feeling he was too familiar to the rest of the pack, using the same sound patterns and beat packs. But with Stubborn, Victoni has decided to show us that he can play in the same space as everyone else and still make it uniquely his own. His cadence, his concept, his delivery, all uniquely Victoni. My five standout tracks Sunday School. <laughs> Hello, a song rich with layers of entendres. Tiny apartment, which brings like a perfect soft West Coast soul vibe. Anita. Ludo, Ludo, you know Ludo. That thing we did. That thing we did. Play that. <laughs> This album is conceptual and bold. Now, if we break it down, the lyrics get a 3, the melody a solid 5, vocals another 5, production a 4.5, and impact I'll give that a 4. Victoria should be incredibly proud of this work. Stubborn isn't just an album, it's a statement. In a year where the ladies have led the charge in Afrobeats, Victoria has stepped up, reminding us all of his place in the genre. Shout out to Victoria. Yeah. I need